Hello everybody, I am Dr. Samarth Ram, an obstetrician and gynecologist from Kerala. I would like to talk about the differences between SR cannula and Panikar cannula. The basic question here is whether Panikar really developed any PPH cannula at all. Here I am showing Pule suction cannula and Panikar cannula. You can see the similarities. The detailed story about this you can see in another video. Let me compare the differences between SR cannula and the so-called Panikar cannula. The basic and fundamental requirement for the suction cannula system to work is to achieve closed uterine cavity. Without achieving closed uterine cavity, negative pressure cannot be built up inside the uterus and the uterus cannot contract and retract to stop atonic bleeding. Panikar cannula is not built up on this principle. Panikar cannula and hole index. Panikar has given holes for a longer distance on the surface of the, his cannula. Sometimes some holes may stay in vagina and start sucking air. Then the cannula system do not work. In such a case, the cannula works like a suction tip and starts sucking rapidly collecting blood from the uterine cavity and fills the bottle quickly. It is almost like creating PPH. Panikar cannula and its diameter. The diameter of Panikar cannula is about 12 millimeters. When massive PPH occur, this 12 millimeter cannula can easily get blocked. Blocked cannula is like a rod and it is no more a suction cannula. After vaginal delivery, this cervix is 10 centimeters dilated. This 12 mm diameter cannula inside 10 centimeter dilated cervix cannot achieve closed uterine cavity. This thin cannula will get blocked and get expelled along with blood clots when the uterus starts acting. Panikar cannula and the diameter of the holes. He has given 3 mm diameter for the holes whereas in SR cannula it is 4 to 8 mm. The smaller holes on Panikar's cannula can get easily blocked when massive bleeding is occurring. Once cannula get blocked, it is like a solid rod and no more a cannula. He suggests to keep half a dozen cannulas ready and go on changing whenever the cannula gets blocked. Panikar cannula cannot work independently without the support of oxytocic drugs. In a study by Dr. Kasturi Donimath from Hubli Kims shows SR cannula works even without oxytocic drugs. More than 30 to 40 percent failure rates are reported with Panikar cannula from Calicut Medical College. This cannula now replaced with the SR cannula. In case of massive bleeding, that is blood loss more than 1500 ml, Panikar cannula cannot work and it is not reliable. SR cannula do not fail to stop bleeding in almost every case if properly applied because its design is based on sound scientific principles. SR cannula is made in five designs to cover all obstetric bleeding situations. Why we need different sizes of cannulas? Different obstetric bleeding situations have different cervical dilatations. For the vacuum system to work, we should achieve the close uterine cavity. This is the basic and fundamental requirement. When negative pressure applied, the soft cervical tissues get sucked into the perforations of cervical portion of the cannula and become adherent. The uterus becomes a closed cavity. Further application of negative pressure results in constriction, contraction and firm retraction of uterus on the surface of the cannula to stop atonic bleeding. With single size cannula, it is not possible to achieve closed uterine cavity in all obstetric bleeding situations. Post abortal cervix admits only thin cannula. When elective cesarean section done with undilated cervix, cervix admits only thin or medium sized cannula. After vaginal delivery with 10 cm dilated cervix, if a thin cannula is inserted, the cervix cannot grip the cannula properly. This fails to create a closed uterine cavity. 
when bleeding is massive this thin cannula get blocked quickly and it cannot create negative pressure inside the uterine cavity this blocked cannula can get expelled along with the blood clots when uterus starts acting after vaginal delivery we should use a bigger size cannula massive bleeding we should use the biggest size cannula for all these reasons we need different size of cannulas for different cervical dilatations my comment on panicus cannula got published in indian journal of obstetrics and gynecology that is ijog the first original paper on sr cannula was published in november 2014 in ios journal panicus is my fourth quarter Within a month of original publication, Panikar plagiarized my article and published another paper in IS Pub Journal. In this paper, he made himself the main author and made me co-author without my knowledge and consent. After my complaint, his plagiarism was confirmed. His article was removed from their journal's website, and he was blacklisted for further submissions to their journal. Yes, Sir Kanla received many awards. Received the top most prestigious senior category Korean award for the year 2017. Received Kerala Federation gold medal for the year 2015. Received Dr. C S Don Prize at A C O G Chennai. received certificate of excellence by government of andhra pradesh many publications occurred from different authors from all over the country sr kanla is being used in 16 major medical colleges in the country nhm tamil nadu released funds to purchase sr kanlas to all 37 medical colleges in the state currently many dissertations are running in different medical colleges in the country thank you